Okay guys, there are three Infinix devices that I've loved using over the years and this one is the best yet. <laughs> I'm not just saying this out of the excitement for the Infinix S4, but everything has been refined on the Infinix S4. It just shouts refinement. And if I must be completely honest, this is the only Infinix device after the Zero 05 and the Note 5 stylus that I've come to love. I've always had complaints about other Infinix devices in the past, from things like the bloatware apps and the laggy launcher to just the overall jumbled up designs. And I've constantly talked about using a lot of white space and clean lines to have a visually appealing OS. And it seems like Infinix has finally listened. They've cleaned up XOS and it looks like what I'd like to use on a daily basis. Well, except for the icons in the settings, they're a bit gimmicky though. Now the phone fits perfectly in my hands and it's just at the right size that I like. Although the chain is a little bit larger than what I'd like, I understand that it costs quite a lot to achieve what the likes of Apple and Samsung has done. So in line with Infinix trying to put out devices that are affordable in the African market, just don't expect those chains to go super tiny anytime soon. You can be rest assured that if Infinix decides to put in the technology to reduce that chain, it's probably going to cost you more. This phone rocks and one such place where I'm absolutely blown is in the battery life. Guys, I couldn't kill this thing no matter what I did. This is a confirmed two day battery smartphone. There was a night where I played YouTube videos for over three hours and I just lost about 15% of battery life. I mean, what? That's absolutely incredible. Screen on time usually hangs between six to seven hours and you still left with about 20 to 25% of battery life at the end of the day. Now, if you don't understand what this means, it means you can rest your mind about the battery life on this smartphone. Now let's talk about app performance for a bit. App performance is average on this device. This is mostly due to the processor and you'd be fine using the device to run apps and casual 2D games, but anything more tasking was a pain in my opinion. I tried running Asphalt 9 and it was a painstaking wait for the game to start. And even when it was fully loaded, the game was extremely laggy. Now, there are a lot of little things here and there that Infinix has implemented on the S4 that allows you enjoy the device more and more over time. The AI feature, for instance, assists you in dealing with annoying notifications that you do not want to see. And it also assists in managing background apps to keep power up and squeeze out more battery life from the device. Now, let's talk about the camera. There are four cameras on the Infinix S4, three behind and one in front. These cameras are the most disappointing feature of this phone, in my opinion. In a way, I think the camera software was just packed full of features that work, but were lackluster in picture quality and post-processing excellence. Now, I tried very hard to like really get nice looking images, but the cameras just never really churned out really good looking photos. Now, don't get me wrong, I like this phone, and I mean a lot but I'm not super pumped on the images that it puts out. Let's talk about videos for a bit. The videos look good on this device. I mean, it's a 720p IPS screen, so you get the usual nice 720p pictures from YouTube, which is good enough for the human eye. I mean, 1080p looks much better, but 720p isn't a deal breaker here. And let's be honest, internet in Nigeria isn't all there yet. Neither is it cheap that you'd expect people to consistently watch videos at 1080p. But nevertheless, the colors look good on the Infinix S4. And if you haven't used one of the higher flagship devices out there, then you wouldn't even know what you're missing with this device. You have a 4G device here and it's got a lot of other features that you may find useful from its face unlock feature to its fairly fast fingerprint scanner to its overall versatility. I couldn't try out OTG support but would give that update on my social media pages when I've tested it out. So in conclusion, look, I'm going to be completely honest with you guys out here. As for looks, be rest assured that the Infinix S4 looks very premium. 
is well built and will give you the stairs that come with a good looking device. I'm a UI and UX guy and I can boldly say that Infinix has stepped up their game in the UI and UX on this device. It looks absolutely clean and much more usable compared to the previous iterations of XOS. The settings menu has been cleaned up considerably and it looks just nice. Now the Infinix S4 seems to be coming from a place of the Infinix team realizing that they have to improve their game or be swallowed up by other brands. And I think they might have just saved themselves with this one. I'm not going to read out the specs for this device in this video. I've done that in my previous video. You can click for that over here. But coming in at just 49,900 Naira for the 32 plus three gigabyte variant and 64,500 Naira for the six plus 64 gigabyte variant, you're getting a whole lot of phone for those price tags. And would I recommend you buying this device? Well, my answer is take a trip to a local store, play with the device a little and decide if my view of it being a lot of phone for the price tag is true. Guys, if you like this video, do hit the thumbs up button and click the subscribe button to also help this channel. Thanks for watching this review of the Infinix S4. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask them in the comment section or via my social media pages. It's at Henry Neo on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. Until I come your way again next week, peace.